this last update we saw a fix to the badge presets here in the patch notes. So before you would have to create a go-between preset basically which just manually unequipped all the badges in your gear to be able to swap between sets otherwise it would just give you an error message and wouldn't do it whereas now you can just freely swap between different gear sets with the same badges at just one click which is so much more practical so much easier and that works perfectly so these badge presets change PvP quite a lot because it gives so much more formational flexibility compared to before. I mean, before you could do uh, this manually, but it was very time consuming. Like, you could do it whilst rallies were uh, waiting for like it to march. But if you want a huge account, you could get soloed whilst your lord is out and you have no badges and. There was just so many little problems with it, it was so time consuming, you'd have to swap them all back manually afterwards. I mean, how many clicks is this? Like four, four times eight. So, like 32 clicks, and then you've got to do it two or three times every time to just go through that. It, so many clicks, it's so unnecessary. It's so much more practical this way. So now you can fully buff your stats for your rally or whatever in just a few clicks, which really, really helps. I mean, you can somewhat telegraph this if you like change your gear too early. Like if someone sees me rallying and then I'm in this gear, it's probably pretty obvious I've gone to cab front. So you, you could maybe try and delay those swaps until the last second if possible. I think the the best way to set up is probably with full imp, imp cav, imp spear, full spear, spear cav, spear imp, full cav, cav imp, cav spear, and then probably a defending preset with all the attacks. I think that's what I will go for long term, especially if you're a rally leader, that covers all the options. There is one problem with it in the you have to manually change between like badge rarities so if you have a preset with how do I do this Let me clear these so I have like eight of these badges and my spear set since there's now no more blues in my inventory if I try and do this preset it just won't show up in the in the slots at all so that can be a bit impractical especially if you have like the same badges at different rarities across different sets like you might say you're running spear cav you might not be able to fit all 15 percent cav attacks in but you could fit in like five and then two 25 percent or something if if that conflicts with the other parts of your gear you just have to either settle for lower rarities and one of the sets or just deal with the hassle of manually switching them yourself which can be a bit annoying but it's just I'm not sure there's really any work around that I doubt they'll fix it if it's even something that needs fixing it's just the reality of it and kind of everything I guess but this is definitely a very useful thing I mean you can even bring it into it doesn't have to be used for rallying scenarios see so if you see like an alliance member being attacked and the guy that's attacked him is hit with like full cav five times in a row and you're like in front normally you could swap over to your full spear set send over a garrison hard counter recall and then go back to your normal stuff whereas before that just wasn't possible not not to be able to maximize your stats because you just wouldn't be able to swap it fast enough 
whereas now you can. So they're, they're very good researchers too, they're not too like fattening on the power, which is good. But even 10 only gives like less than 800k, that's very cheap. I mean even zero castles can get that a little bit I think. They obviously won't need it as much, but maybe to 2 or 3. It's a pretty good investment, it's a good research. I recommend everyone to try out and use it.